What's going on everyone? Welcome to another Key Shot Quick Tip. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the awesome new improvements made to the Key Shot Move Tool. In Key Shot 10, Move Tool features can still be accessed by using the Move Tool button located under the Scene tab in the Project Panel, or by right-clicking on the Part and choosing between Move Park, Model, or Selection. With the Move Tool window open, you'll notice that the UI is a little bit different than previous versions. The familiar mode checkboxes have now been replaced by icons along the top that reflect the functions of translate, rotate, and scale, and settings for axes and pivot options can now be found under the new advanced accordion. The new move tool window has also introduced a position accordion as well. This accordion has the same position options as those found in the position subtab located in the project panel, and any adjustments made in one will be mirrored in the other. With this accordion open, you have access to numerical input fields that let you control translation distance, degree of rotation, and scale for the X, Y, and Z axes. All of these fields can be adjusted by clicking on the up and down arrows in each field or by inputting the value manually. Another useful feature in the updated window is its ability to be moved outside of the real-time view. Previous versions confined the window to the real-time view, which did not allow for the window to float freely. In Keyshot 10, you can now move the window independently and place it wherever in the program window is most convenient for you. Keyshot 10's new interface updates have also improved the move tool itself by adding more accurate movement tracking, making it simpler and more efficient to move elements within your scenes. In previous versions of Keyshot, using the move tool required clicking and dragging multiple times to move parts, models, or selections. This was particularly apparent when attempting to move elements at steep camera angles. The new move tool has eliminated this and makes dragging and positioning your model or parts quick, easy, and accurate. The last notable update to the move tool UI is in relation to the geometry view. Previous versions would open the move tool on the selected model or part in both the real-time view and the geometry view simultaneously. In the latest Keyshot 10 update, the Move tool will only be visible in the window you've chosen to open it. This makes for a cleaner, more streamlined interface. Thanks for watching this Keyshot 10 quick tip. If you're interested in more useful Keyshot content, hit that subscribe button and get notified as soon as new videos hit the channel. Don't forget to let us know your thoughts on this tutorial in the comment section below. And if you found this video useful, give it a like and share with your friends.